Alright, so it's a brand new episode of MC TV. My name is Nao Kuala. You know you can call me Rich Man's Wife. And also, do make sure you are following us on all the social media platforms at MCTVGH on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have a guest. Like, let me just pause for now. I'll be happy to talk about it. Domicile of Art offers top notch services for wedding planning, designing, and printing makeup for every occasion and makeup training enroll now at domicile of art to learn everything about makeup do contact us on 0271 392 487 or 054 256361 you can also send us an email at domicileofart at gmail.com domicile of art west africa's innovative planning company all right, welcome back. I told you guys I have a guest, and she go by the name Baro. Like I struggled before I mentioned this name, you know. And she's half Liberian and half Ghanaian as well. She's a songstress, so to say. But I mean, you find out more about her. Baro, welcome to MCTVG. Thank you. You're looking smashy. Like you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. So, um, you are a half Liberian, half Ghanaian. What are you doing in Ghana? Are you here to promote your music, or you are here? To, like you are, you are here to stay or something okay um talking about half liberian half Ghanaian. my mom is liberian and then my dad is Ghanaian. anyway i be like you said it like <laughs> okay so um i've been here since 2005 okay trying to like we're staying then i lost my mom and then before i started music so i've been here for a while for like 12 years and so. all right how long have you been doing music professionally about two years now. so apart from professionally because i hear this a lot professionally two years and i don't know they say something like um when i say professionally two years like recording i've been signed to a management two years now but before then i went to a couple of music competitions already with the airtel trace music star where i came second oh really <laughs> yes and then Vienna city had a, a competition for um v star they were looking for an ambassador for Vienna city musically and then i won so i was the music ambassador for Vienna city in december 2005. all right congratulations <laughs> tell me about the kind of music you do okay i do afro music now i try to be versatile in a way that I can do Afro dance hall. If you push me in half, I would do it. Wow. I do uh, I'll push you right. Here. <laughs> I do um, Afro pop, Afro R and B, Afro beat. You know, I just try to be versatile. I do bits and pieces of everything. Sometimes I do reggae. Yeah, so I try to be versatile, like my manager always say. Yeah, you have to do try, try and do everything. I know your manager. I think he worries a lot. I know too much. Thank you. Okay, so is this? Is it branding? Yes, it's a new branding. Yeah, before when I started, I had um, the sides of my hair cut and then I was braiding the middle. But I realized almost everyone is going that way, so I changed it. And now I want to use myself. Nice. I think I love the new you. Yeah, because it looks like you. <laughs> um, is Baro your real name? My name is Princess. Barol Dati. That is my father's name. Barol is um, my Liberian name, and then Prince is my normal name, my middle name. So um, I decided to find a stage name, and I couldn't think of anything. Everybody is coming like sexy V, you know what I mean? No. <laughs> so I decided to just cut my last day like Barol. So instead of spelling the whole thing, I just cut it short. That's all. Okay, all right. So um, how many songs do you have? right now i just put out an ep of six tracks yes yeah, so so far it's been six but i have i did another song like techno um pana i did a cover for it so it's, it's not part of my ep but yeah. take me back a bit to um etel tree right how was the experience like it was you know it was my first time doing the competition thing so man, it wasn't easy eh? because um then it was it was it was a very tough time for me you have different people from a lot of places coming and you know so um we came i just thought i won you know that night 
I wasn't well. I was sick. Like I was really, really sick when I came for the competition. And before they even they could even announce, yeah, I had already collapsed. I was somewhere else, you know. Yeah, I say. <laughs> I see. So, but I, I believe it was like such an amazing experience. Yes, what happened to me that night was not good. It was amazing, but it was not good. But I'm not going to talk much about it. Another time, maybe. So you came second. I came second. So you thought you could have. I thought I, I, I didn't think. I feel like I was the winner then. So did you feel cheated? Yes, I was cheated. Mm-hmm. Well, you didn't feel you, you were cheated. So what did you do about it? Nothing. <laughs> All right. So I just moved on. I mean, in life, you get bre- you get broken at one point, and then you move on. The more you keep pushing, you get there. So looking at the industry in Ghana, um, let's talk about the female. You know, do you ever see anybody like a competition? We have the Ebony's and the Miss V's and the likes. You know. No. Are you ready for the industry here in Ghana? You can beat Ebony. I'm not in a fight. I'm being myself. <laughs> I'm, not very, I'm not in a fight. I'm not in a competition. Everyone's got his style or her style. And if you do it well, you become perfect for you. So I'm not in a competition. But if they bring it on, I'm here forever. I'm not in a competition. I'm trying to be myself. <laughs> Ebony, Ebony is unique in her style. I think I like her because she has a style. She knows what she wants to do. And big ups to you, Ebony. I mean, you're really, really, really cool. I like you. But her style is her style, and I've got my style, so I just think. See, me, I carry fire. I'm the queen of fire. When I, my music is hot. Like, I'm this kind of hot person. When I say hot, not, I mean, just hot. I have that thing. I carry the fire, so I don't look at other people. I think Ebony is unique in her style, but it doesn't shake me. It doesn't move me, because that's her style. I have my style, I carry my fire, so. So, um, let's talk about, what is the current music you are trying to promote right about? Uh, you have six of them. Yeah, but. You pushing all of them, or you have a particular one you are at the moment pushing? Um, I could say I'm pushing all of them because they're all online, you can be downloaded. But right now, the last track I did was, was called Title Would You. Yeah, um, let me say this. You know, recently, I came to Ghana in 2005. Ghana was a very peaceful country. Before I came to Ghana, Ghana was cool. It's, it's, it was difficult for somebody to get killed just like that. But these days, no. Are you scared? Yes, I'm scared. Like I'm saying, I have goosebumps because I see people killing people and I'm asking myself, okay, if you say he's a thief and you kill him, who are you? <laughs> That's just a question. You kill somebody for stealing. You're a murderer. You're also a sinner. Who kills you? You can't judge somebody. We leave it to God. If he steals, you leave him to the law. You understand me? And that's my thing. Like, I feel like we are, the blood is too much. We need to stop it. You understand? Do you want to go back to Liberia? I don't want to go back to Liberia per se. I would love to be in Liberia, but I don't think if you run from the problem, it helps. If you help to solve the problem, then that's better. So if I speak about it, that is the best way people can hear me in music. I think I should just keep, and if we all come together as musicians and try to work hard and try to put it out there, not only the musicians, the media, you know, we need to speak to people more on TV, advices and other, it helps. Let's talk about Would You. (laughs) Yeah, Would You was a song I did for this. Because I sat back and I say, um, my manager said, Baro, you know, the thing's going on, you need to do something for your people. And I'm like, it's true. So, would you was like, okay, the lyrics, some of, of the lyrics in the song say, if I didn't have your name, like, like maybe your surname is Junes, and I, my name is not Junes, or I'm not from Ghana. Or, okay, you don't know me, you think I'm a thief. Like, would you be there for me? If you just, like, you're walking and you say, this guy is a thief or this girl is a thief. You don't know. You didn't see me stealing. Are you going to take the stone and throw it? Or you're going to try to stop me from dying? Like, you understand? So, it all came out after the death of uh, Major Mahama. I mean, it touched me. For me, I was broken for, like, days. I don't know him from nowhere. But, we're all broken, I guess. I mean, Ghanaians, no. Like, you know, it's a no. Do you have any intentions of bringing up an album anytime soon? Yes. Okay, talking about that. 
I have uh, I've started working with a new music group. It's uh, the VVV Studios, where you have the likes of um, Professor Ni Kwate Owu, a professor, and then we, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and then we have Ambassador Davis Daniels, that's um, the former president of the Liberian Music Union. I mean, those are tough people. Huh? So, and then I have my management, Delphi Music Production, with Murphy Jr. Ibu. So I have really strong people working here. Delphi. <laughs> so <laughs> we have really strong people, and we we are starting on the project. So by February, my album will be out. February. So watch out. All right. So do you have any videos out yet? Not yet, but it's coming soon. Coming with the album at the same time. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, I want to know. Don't you think that financial problems is one of the major reasons why you don't have a video or videos out yet? No, it's not financial problems. It's um, you know, you're a new artist coming up. You don't just go and pick up any kind of video, especially you know what you're about. So we decided that we'll take our time, and then when we get a, we work on a hit song, and then we get a good video, a quality video that is not only broadcasting in africa we're talking about international I like, I like it i like what you're saying like i feel you you get it <laughs> i don't know if you want to do a bit of would you for for, for people yes so i have been wondering been thinking been that if i didn't have a vision or a dream to help my nation what would my name be or if i wasn't from this land or a place so far from here if you were now my brother now my sister tell me what would this be if i didn't have a mate tell me would you have been there for me would you be there for me would you be there for me if I know be your own, would you be there for me? <laughs> would you be there for me? I'm just checking, you know. <laughs> Do you have any um, social media handles you want to put out there? Yes, yeah, so, um, okay. So, um, if you want to find Barrow on Facebook, it's B A R O E on Facebook. Instagram is Barrow underscore Queen underscore Fire. The fire is spelled F y a h you can also find me on youtube at barrow you can find me on soundcloud amazon itunes and then just keep the love coming so again to you out there stop the killings love your neighbors as yourself we can be going to church we can be saying we are serving god if we are not loving ourselves i love you i love you Big ups to Delphi Music one more time and to the VVV studio. And hey, Ebony, I got you, man. You're hot. I like it. Yeah. So you want a link up? Of course. Okay, Ebony, if you are if you are watching, so Ebony will be like watching. So expect it very soon. Um, Ebony featuring Barrow. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for coming. You know, like really, I um, mean, it was. All right, so it was a great interview with Barrow. Like, Charlie, very soon, Ebony X Barrow. You see me? <laughs> you can also follow us on all the social media platforms MCTVGH on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My name, of course, now Kwali. And you know, you can call me Rich Man's Wife. My makeup was done by Domicile of Art. You can also follow her on all the social media platforms as well at Domicile of Art. Like, Charlie, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe. Bye bye.